What's up, my friends? Look, just so you guys do see, it does snow here in the Carolinas. It might not be a, a big time thing, but it still gets pretty cold. Right now it's about 45 degrees, but because obviously there's nothing but some shade back here, there's some snow. Yeah, if I have my guan out here, but look, before you haters start saying Jesus, you wonder. Look, she is fine. I'm telling you right now, she is freaking warm because I just pulled her out of her enclosure. But I just wanted to take a little second to show you guys and answer the question because I get it asked a lot. Could your iguana, my iguana, survive if she got away? So let's talk about that, but we are gonna step inside because I'm bald and my head is cold. <laughs> Many of you have asked the update on my beautiful friend, Starla here. So she's still a punk. She's getting a little better as you can see, All right, So just let me pet her a little bit. But to answer the question, right? A lot of people have asked, Joe, if your iguana got away in the Carolinas, could it survive? for about nine months, absolutely. But the problem is, is that our winters do get pretty cold and they would not survive a, uh, a winter storm like we just had, right? Say, no man, ain't nobody trying to put up with that storm. Winter storm like we just had, and obviously it does still get cold regardless. It still drops down into the 20s and 30s, usually at least for the months of, of... where you go, where you go, hey, hey. You can see she's still a little spicy, hey. Relax, relax, mama. <laughs> Look, let me tell y'all something. I get a lot of criticism about this girl, and all I do is love her. All I did was save her <laughs> freaking life. Don't be opening your mouth. You ain't gonna bite nobody, right? All I did was love this girl, save her life from skin and bones. She's got a great meal, great house. She gets a lot of love, a lot of baths. And then in the summertime, she gets some pretty decent, actually not even decent, she gets a lot of outside time. And I'm not gonna lie, one time, one time I had her outside in her outside enclosure, I didn't realize uh, one of the latches had come off and she got out. And uh, we walked out, I was like, oh my God, Starla's gone. And I looked at the top of the hill and she was up there along the tree line. Thank God when I got to her, she didn't try to run or, or take off up a tree, but it does, it's a, it's a fear, you know? It's one of those things that uh, she can definitely uh, get away. Super quick, I love the hardwood floors for my reptiles because they can't go nowhere. That I'm telling you, it's a way to think. Um, but they are beautiful. I'm not gonna get into this video about uh, where she's at, how she's doing as far as um, her personality, should you or should you not get into guana. I got plenty of those, but I will do an update for sure on what I think. Um, but my gosh, she's so fat right here. That's all she does is eat. Say, all I do is eat and poop. That's it. That's all this girl does is eat and poop. And stay warm, obviously. Get a little dewlap right here. I love that. Look at that look right there. Oh yeah, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. My God, look at that. I mean, I mean, not even. It take me two hands maybe to get around her. Thick tail is another good indication right through here. Super thick tail. Super powerful legs. Now, when I rescued her, she did have a little jacked up leg over here. I never did take it to get an X-ray, but it won't. It won't straighten. Uh, but it hasn't seemed to really cause her too many issues uh, keeping these nails, uh, obviously, that I'm a little behind on. God, oh, Moses. Oh, tears you up. Woo! Tears you up. For what? For what? Where are you going to go? But I just want you guys to see this because she's beautiful, man. I mean, it doesn't get much cooler than a dinosaur like this. I mean, look at that. Yes. Are you gonna at least smile for the camera? Why you guys always have that RTB? She always got an RTB. Doesn't matter what we do. Every time we look at her. Come in here if you want to, I'm gonna bust you in the mouth. <laughs> but to answer the question, guys, no. They cannot survive this far north. They just can't, not a whole year. That's why they're down there in Florida where it's usually, for the most part, nice and warm. It does get cold. It does get cold, but they don't get this, this kind of cold, this, this super, chilly, wind chill, cold, um, and they, they're able to survive and because it's usually not quite so long down there in Florida, but unfortunately, uh, they got bounties on their heads because everybody's trying to kill them. But man, how gorgeous is she? Anyways, guys, uh, just wanted to show her because a lot of you guys ask how she's doing. She's still a punk. She's still, that, she's still that lover that you just can't get rid of, right? What'd you think? It's like I hate when you film me. I can't stand when you film me. But anyway, 
Here she is. I just want you guys to see her that she's still, uh, she's still kicking and whipping. <laughs> right? Right, my friend? She's like, is this done yet? So, anyways, guys, I'm going to go throw in a hot bath. Hope you guys uh, are staying safe if you're in my neck of the woods. And until next time, baby, I'll catch you later.